Now the time has come to put ambient occlusion in the background and we have in, in this uh, statue also. All right. So simple, very, very simple that we have to have this one, Alt C. And you can take new one also, there's no problem and put it like so. And here. So now double click on this and change it, right click and reset the settings and go for this V-Ray AO. Now we have this one and I can very easily select it, press select it, press M key. And now what you need to do, we need to make multiply. And whenever you are using, oh, whenever you are using multiply, we need to use this thing off. Simple. So it, it has to be an habit kind of thing that whenever you're using multiply, you should take it off uh, and then the any kind of problem, any kind of alpha problem won't be there. Now you can see this is also black kind of thing, a, a dark kind of thing because of we have this ambient occlusion. And why we have used this ambient occlusion after this uh you know background because of you can see this ambient occlusion is not segregated with background and foreground this is segregated this is only this background and foreground is uh, combined right so that is why we have to use this thing after the actual image plane actual you know back plate right so now if you are using two different kind of thing that one is this and another one is the background then you can use this before uh you know before this merge right so in this case it is not possible so if i do so i can see what will happen now see so you can see here there is no shadow but if I you know, put it later, I'll be having the contact shadow right here. Okay. All right. Always, you know, make it proper. Okay. Perfect. Control S always save your work. Now, this is how you have got the, you know, the ambient occlusion. This is how you can put this background here and also the creation of the master alpha. And in the next video, I'm going to show you that how we're going to use the dust passes.